This is Back of the Guardian. And for my first video, I'm going to show you all of my Back of Guardian that I collected mixed with Bottle Planet, Armor Alliance, and Geogon Rising. For, my, for the fir first faction, I'm going to show you my, my Pyrus Dragonoid. With the B power, let's see, where's, where's that? Right. Not that strong, only 200 B, but with the, maybe with, I don't even have a, an evil for him, but if he has an evil, then. And so my, for my next Pyrus, Pyrus Cycloid, coming in B power 300, Put in next to next one my run by newer one of the newer Bakugans and it kind it kinda looks like a Zubo like and pretty much like Cubo, which I don't have Cubo. But here it is. Farasco, Pyrus Farasco, cool. Probably one of the best Farascos, but I'm not really an expert in like battling and I haven't battled that anyone before, so I don't really know about much. Now with my Pyrus Ultras. Pyrus Ultra Garg Gargoyle. This is probably my favorite Ultra so far. Because uh, it's my... No, they have two Ultras. And it's B Power 300. So I don't know how good most of these Bakugans really are. And I'm sorry if the camera keeps moving. I don't have a tripod yet. But my final Pyrus Bakugan is Pyrus Nobilius Ultra. And he's actually my first Ultra. And I got him at at GameStop. But another one for and his B power is five hundred. Let's see. This is my highest B power. I believe Nobelius is stronger. Yeah, Nobelius um, is, is my strongest Pyrus with the highest B power. Next one, the, the Baku gun that I have the most of. Ventus. I show you the main Ventus Bakugan from the awesome Brawlers.
Santa's Trucks Ultra, which you can pick up two cars. Pretty neat. And let's see if I can find his speed power. 300. Yeah, there's a um, manual parts. There's little, little T Rex arms. Just like that. My next back again. Let me. This one is my only back again with back gear. And it's translucent. Ventus Repairing Ultra. Let me bring out. I can't put this. The little parts on because I'm holding my phone. It's going to be hard to put them on and hold my phone at the same time. But as soon as I get a tripod, then it'll be a whole lot easier. And here we go. My first drop, highest speed power back again. 800 bees. Uh, B power 800. Next one. I'm having tr hard trouble in trouble opening this one. So I may just plop them down. Oh, he's open up. My Ventus Nearest Ultra from ba from Amo Alliance. And he has a uh, manual parts. Now this is feet. It's hard to press them down. And Yeah. And, and with B power of four hundred. Okay. Next one is I see one the uh, one of my hardest back guns to close besides Nobelius. Ventus Serpentis Ultra. And most of my back guns I got from a toy, toy store right right down my street. But here it is. Sophon T's Ultra. I don't have a core or anything. So it's B power. B power of 400. Mm. Maybe my. No, this one is my one of my favorite. Core back again. Uh, back again. Uh, let me show you. My Ventus. This. I forgot the name of it, but I don't have my cards, so I show you as soon as I get my <laughs> soon as I get them. 
but the power of uh, so blowing right now. B power of 300. We know he is power not that strong. In my first ever Bakugan that I ever I got. It's at first I didn't even know what a Baku core is until watching other like YouTube videos and showcase videos. But here you go. My Ventus Mantanoid core. Oh, it's deployed, I believe. Yeah, there you go. And his B power is 500. He's my first ever background from the reboot. And that's all my Ventus. And I'm gonna show all of my rare diamond backgrounds at the end. So next one, background the the faction that I have the less of plus one fusion. But my first. My first aquas that I'm going to show you is my Aquas Sinius Ultra. Let me find the arrow. He is probably the most hardest background to close up due to his uneven. But it's pretty cool how he holds it, holds the back of course as a sealed with a B power of three hundred. A lot of my back guy has a B power of three hundred or low, but I'm lucky enough to have some with even higher B power. But he is. Aqua Sinius. Now my only fusion back again is my Hy Hydrus X Trino. I I say hy my Hydrus X Trino is my favorite fusion back again, but I'm well, he is my only fusion back again, so I don't know which one if I can choose, like, what back again I like the most. With but in his B power is. And where is his B power? Can't find his B power.
should be. Not oh, there's 500 B. B power 500. And I don't think I can get completely up. Oh, there it is. If anyone know how, like, how good these back accounts are so far, um, please comment and well, this is my first video, so I may have some mistakes or you know, some tell me how I did so far. You can make it better, but when. Next faction that I have is another one that I have. I don't have much of. My darkest, and I only have two. So my darkest. Darkest Galator Ultra. And Darkest Nelius Ultra from Battle, Battle Planet. And Nelius is 200, as strong as my Pyramus Dragonoid. And Galator is 500 B, uh, B power 500. And with the I'm going to even show you my Hayas background, which I have only I have one cool background and one ultra. Kakalios. Yeah. Ultra. Again, I'm sorry if the camera keeps moving. I I don't have a tripod yet, and it's hard for me to actually roll and hold up the my hold up the phone at the same time without moving it. But here he is. He's 400, B power 400. And, and then, oh, I'm missing a back again. Where is my, oh, there he is. Found him. I'm gonna say this thing about more him because he's already out of his bar. But here's Dragonoid. I'm I really want to try to look for the Ultras. Especially the rare diamonds. But I, all, the only ba Dragonoids I have is the core ba the core da Dragonoids. But my last Hayes back again is Hayes Pentatrol Ultra. And Pentatrol actually likes being called a sand crab and not a scorpion. It just doesn't like being called caught a scorpion. I, I, I watch 
the episodes, like, a lot. Uh, he does look like a scorpion, but he, he likes being called a sand crab. Yeah, you can be pretty lazy in this, in the show. And then Ajit's new partner, but in all this. I'm sorry to say that the accent wrong. I'm, my speech isn't that great. Right here. Okay, my last non rail faction is my earliest. And I only have three core, earliest cores. But my first one is from the Amor from Geogon Rising. My Dragonoid Core. Oh yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to watch me open up a surprise box. A surprise ba package. And make sure if you like this video to tap the like button below. But he is... Dragonoid, it's B power 600. Put it next, like in front of Dragonoid, Dragonoid Colossus, which I don't have in Dragonoid Infinity or Maximus. Yet I do want to try to get those as well, as well as the game. But my next one is. Pegatrix Cool from Battle Planet. She was actually my first highest B power back gun into repairing, and before I got repairing with a B power of 600. She was my highest before I before I got my repairing. And then my last one is clocks. Let me bring up his the little arms. Wrap them. Power 600. And that is all of my main factions. Now I'm going to show you my Geogon and my four diamond Bakugan. That's one rare Geogon. My first Geogon. You know, I'm called to measure out, and it won't be the whole card to measure out, but just deal with me. Viper Wagon, Aquas Viper Wagon, with 1300B. He's, I got him from a from my pack along with Pinchator 
Dragon Ride and in Velasco. And then in my and this actually came with the pack as well. Mutasect. Darkest mucus mutasect. Yes. He's actually one of my tallest Bakugan, even though he's a Geogon. I was really happy to get to get the first Geogon Rising Wave. And I need to get a claw because he can't stand up on his own. Because he's pretty tall. Um, I need to do the same with Velasco because she can't stand up on her own either. And then now here is my rarest Geogon. My Diamond Suglo. I'm actually pretty excited that to get him. With fifteen hundred. One of my way of back again. Now into the fun part. My diamond collection. Well, I guess don't. It's probably not a huge collection, but but I. It's getting now. So the first one. I'm just gonna place it on there. Like, I'm gonna place the claws down, but still roll the ultras. So that you can see the... Cool, the cool accent of it. So... Diamond Sock Tall. In being at... 500B. A B power of 500. My, and he's actually, I actually got him from a, from a pack, from a starter pack, along with the next one I'm going to show you, like the next three, which is Diamond Farquad Ultra. I'm really excited to get the, the, I was really excited to get all of these diamonds. Because I always wanted to help, like, get my own like diamond collection. And now that I'm getting more and more into this, and that I was able to actually add some rare backgrounds into my collection. I think it was going to be pretty cool to have some to add some rare backgrounds. But here is my next one. Maybe I can show them together. First one is my Fenica cool. And then next one, my new you know, my newest background is Fenica Ultra, which you just grabbed two cores. Yeah, I just got to last week. Here, here it is. 
Ultra and the Coral. Really neat. How I actually finally got both the Coral and the Ultra. Uh, the Ultra being slightly stronger being at B power 800 and my Fenica Cora is 700 so here, here they are my entire team back again I may try to do a video of all of my cards that I have, but again, I don't know how like good or strong the cards are because I have I never like battled or joined did any like events or whatnot. But if you like this video and you want to see more content, please subscribe and like my video. And again, if I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a very special Bakugan that I'm, that's coming very soon. So please stay tuned for that. Bye! Signing off!